Man channel. Today I'm very excited about what I've got in this case. You can see Beretta ARX. I want to give a very, very special thanks to Dominion Outdoors Kentucky. They're the ones that helped me get acquire this. If you don't know about them, go over to their website and check them out. They have a lot of cool stuff like this. It's www.dominionoutdoors.com or you can check them out on their Facebook page, Dominion Outdoors Kentucky. Be sure to go check them out. Great people over there. We'd also like to thank our friends over at Battle Style Talon and Ois Technologies. They're great and they help us out on the channel. So let's go ahead and jump into our tabletop. All right, guys, we got my truck tailgate here filling in for us as a tabletop. Now, when you originally would have got one of these rifles back in the day, like I said, I don't know if they're still imported or manufactured in the Tennessee plant. I don't believe they are. I have to look into that. When I purchased this, I believe they told me that um, they no longer make them or discontinued them, which is unfortunate because this is a really cool firearm, and we're going to get into the features of what's all different about it and why it's a neat alternative to an AR-15. you got your nice Beretta logo embroidered there on the front of the case. And got ARX 100 here in the front with one pouch to either put a magazine or some paperwork or some really loose cartridges. So let's go ahead and get her unzipped. And there we have it. Let's go ahead and flip it around here on the other side. There we have the beautiful tactical tuna, as it's called. Now this one, I don't really see the the tuna fish. To me, I think it's a rather handsome looking firearm. I'm probably one of the few people that actually think this firearm is rather handsome looking i do really like the color of the coyote tan really complements it well and i think it's a very attractive looking firearm like i done mentioned when you would uh, unbox one of these back in the day of course you would have had your pouch here uh, what's cool is it actually came with a sling so a lot of manufacturers cut that out for cost cave uh, cost saving measures that's kind of cool it comes with that and obviously your paperwork here that you get with every new firearm and it comes in this or your paperwork comes in this magazine holder. It does come with one third round magazine. Now, I don't know if this is the magazine that originally came with it. I'm not even sure. I've never even heard of that company before. I've actually had some issues with this mag when I was trying it out earlier today. So I'm probably tossing that aside. It does run really good with PMAG Gen 2s, which is odd because a lot of people have issues with Gen 2 PMAGs and rifles that are not AR 15s, but you can see in this rifle, before we get into it, let's safety check it. You can see safety, it's clear. And nothing in the magazine. It fits in there really nice and drops free, so that's really cool. I didn't think that would really work because you have to really watch. And like, rifles are different than AR-15s. A lot of times these Gen 2s won't work, but it worked really, it worked really good. It worked just fine. But anyway, let's get into the rifle. Start from the back here. You got your stock that folds and also extends for longer arm shooters like myself. And you got your button on here that can flip it over. It also can lock into place there, that little stud that holds it in there, and you can just jerk it open, lock it. You got your rearmost sling detachment point along with your ambidextrous safety on both sides. One for fire and then S for safe, of course. Moving forward, you got your magazine release on both sides, either side, and your bolt release on either side. And on the bottom as well rather interesting now the bolt on this is super super smooth it's really really impressive how smooth this is it feels like it's operating on butter that charging handle is reversible from either right or left hand and also the bolt can either eject from either left or right as you can see it's open on both sides so you can fix that whatever way you, that you feel most comfortable you have your forward most sling swivel or midpoint you got your very neat looking heat heat shield or heat ventilation area here along with your picatinny section on the bottom i have a angle foregrip mounted uh, dominion outdoors also supplied us with this so we really appreciate them thank you for that we have our picatinny section on the side and on this side for mounting your light or lasers and your long picatinny section on top to mount your optics now this optic came with it this is not what would have come with it at the time of course but this is a cool optic nonetheless i've been trying it out as well when i've been trying this and it's really really nice it's a sig romeo 7 i won't get into all that but for the money uh, i think they're around 200 bucks really really nice optic I like it so far moving more forward you have your 16 inch cold hammer forge chrome line barrel now cold hammer forge can get you a really long lasting barrel when you're firing rapid fire and has a long uh, longevity um, it can resist heat a lot better and it's more durable and this is kind of a pencil profile 
but I never noticed the gun getting overly hot. It, it just seems to do very well in heat. This barrel can actually be taken out for quick uh, quick change. I don't know how to do that on this one. I have seen that feature on other videos. You also have a uh, adjustable gas block for suppressor setting. You can turn it to uh, here for suppressed or not suppressed. And your sl uh, sling swivel portion here that can be flipped to either side. So very, very cool on that. You also have an A2 birdcage flash suppressor to standard there. Nothing special like comes on most of any AR-15. So yeah, I've this is the first time I've ever held one of these uh, today, and I think it's very, very cool. So let's go ahead into the range and get some shots through it and see how I like We're back it. Back here at the range here again today. As you can see we got our Breda ARX 100. Now I've never shot one of these, nor have I ever failed one. But I've seen this in the local shop like we talked about in the video, and I just had to pick it up. I've got a few rounds loaded. Don't have too much ammo here with me today. Uh, I've got probably a little over 10 rounds loaded up in this P-Mag. So we're just going to try it as a first impression video to see how I like it. So we'll go ahead and insert our magazine. This ARX features a folding stock so you can press your button in, rotate, snap it into place, pull out. Uh, the charging handle is ambidextrous like I mentioned in the video so you can just pull back on this side, let it go. It's going to be ejecting from the right hand side the way it's set up. Uh, we got ambidextrous safety on both sides. So let's go ahead and try it out. I like it guys. A uh, very soft shooting firearm. Uh, not as it's comparable to an AR-15, maybe not as soft shooting. As an AR, I had to compare it. It's been a while since so I've shot my, one of my AR-15s. But um, it shoots shoots really good. I, I like it. You got your bolt release here on the side. It's a little stiff sometimes. You hit that. Overall, it feels really good. I think I want to really like it. All right, we're back from the range. This rifle is a very, very sweet shooting rifle. It's very, very smooth, like I already mentioned before. Uh, it, it's unique in itself. It doesn't feel like an AR-15. It doesn't feel like a anything I've ever fired before. It's just got, it's got its own little recoil pull, uh, impulse. Very, very cool. I forgot to mention this is a long stroke piston operated gun, so a very, very, very rugged and reliable system. And these guns have got a reputation for being very reliable and durable in the Italian military. I haven't mentioned this, but this is Italy's uh, primary uh, service rifle. And they've, they've used these, I think, since 2009 is when it developed and they've been put in service and they've been using this long. The polymers doesn't feel cheap on this. It feels very, very uh, strong and durable and rigid. I've felt a firearms before that's been made of polymer construction. They felt very cheap, but I, I, I don't see the issue here. This is very rugged and, and robust feeling. It's a shame that they don't import these or manufacture these no more, uh, to my knowledge because these are very very cool ar alternatives and i really think it's a cool looking firearm uh, a lot of people i think it didn't do well in the u.s market just because it's price point i think msrp at the time was two thousand dollars and it just didn't really compete well in the ar market everybody thought it was ugly and of course you know it being mostly polymer throws a lot of people off but i like it i love stuff that's different and i love it so far stay tuned for more videos on this and more videos to come if you haven't already give me a like and subscribe be sure to share it helps us out here on youtube on the mill man channel gets us going on the algorithm as you know youtube doesn't like gun channels so it's hard to get out there go check out dominion outdoors like i said they're great people and we appreciate their support and helping us acquire this i appreciate you guys and love each and every one of you stay tuned for more videos and god bless